today in this video we are going to study about nuclear energy and the first question is what is nuclear energy see nuclear energy is the energy that is released during nuclear reactions there are radioactive elements in nature now radioactive elements are the elements which so radioactive elements are those element which emit radiation in form of energy the the rays that are emitted by radioactive element are alpha beta and gamma mainly and this process is known as radioactivity so the energy stored in the nucleus of an atom and released through fusion fusion or radioactivity is called nuclear energy it is also called atomic energy these fission and fusion are the nuclear reactions so in the definition part you can also write the energy stored in the nucleus of an atom and released through nuclear reactions is known as nuclear energy so nuclear energy is produced in two different ways the first method is nuclear fusion and the second is nuclear fusion in this video we are going to study about nuclear fusion nuclear fusion fusion means to split the word fusion means splitting german scientists otto hahn and strassmann discovered that when a uranium nucleus is bombarded by thermal neutrons it splits up into two smaller nuclei of barium and krypton along with the release of three neutrons the process in which the heavy nucleus of a radioactive element such as uranium thorium plutonium splits up into smaller nuclei when bombarded with low energy neutrons is called nuclear fission now what are thermal neutron thermal neutrons are low energy neutrons so what happens in fission that low energy neutrons are attacked or bombarded on a uranium nucleus uranium is a radioactive element so after bombarding a neutron in it it becomes unstable that nucleus become unstable and it breaks up into two different smaller nuclei this whole process evolves a lot of energy a lot of nuclear energy this whole process is known as nuclear fission this is how a nuclear fission process looks like it is a uranium nucleus a neutron strikes it and after striking this whole nucleus is breaks up into two small nuclei these so in this process with two nuclei we have three more neutrons and these three neutrons can attack three different nuclei and this process can continue and so on so this is also called as chain reaction because it works like a chain it is unstoppable or uncontrollable although in nuclear power plants although in nuclear power plants we can control this nuclear reaction and we can use that energy to uh, generate electricity but if this energy becomes uncontrollable and if we are not able to control it it leads to a disastrous situation that is uh, called as nu uh, atom bomb you have heard this name atom bomb so atom bomb is nothing but an uncontrollable nuclear fission reaction so nuclear fission process can be controlled or uncontrolled if it, if it can be controlled it, as it has been controlled in real life also in nuclear power plants it can be used to generate electricity but if not it becomes an atom bomb an atom bomb is nothing but a chain reaction of nuclear fission 